In this video, let's get some basic understanding of group by function and pair table in pandas. So group by function. The group by function is groups and aggregate data by one or more columns. Use it for splitting data into groups and performing aggregate operation within each group. It is suitable for summarizing data within existing data frame. And the peer table. Peer table function is reshapes the data into structured summary table and aggregate data and support hierarchical indexing. Useful for creating peer tables and displaying the aggregate information in tabular format. Then let's practically understand how it works with some example. Before that I will import the pandas. So first I will import the panda series and I will create one data frame by using this dictionary. So if I run this, yeah, my data frame is created. If I now print the data frame. So this is my data frame. This is used as example to explain the group by function and the peer table in this video. So it has the rows, it has a rows and column like name, country, age, and salary data. In this data frame, the name, country, and age can be a categorical data and salary is a numerical data. So let's see if I print the columns df columns df dot columns if I get the columns so I have total four columns in my data frame and all are object one is numerical then if I use group by so first I will explain the group by function. The group by function is used to group the data and use it for some do some operations and calculation. So first I will do group by. So as we used peer table in the Excel, same way we can use group by function and peer table in Python. So it is it is basically used to group the data and aggregate and do some calculation by that group. So it's used to manipulate the data frame. You can get more information from the data frame by using group by function. So in this example, we have name, country, age and salary. By using group by function, we can see the salary of by grouping by country. For example, in country column, we have USA, UK, USA repeated value. If I group the country column, it will take unique value and it will take the salary of that particular country so let's get understand by example so the syntax for the group by function is first we have to use the data frame here in my in this case this example i have the data frame of df and i will put dot group by that's a function name group by function within that we have to put the categorical column means for which we are doing the group in this example let's say i do the group for the country so I have to give the country over here. So in this first, in the parenthesis, we have to give the categorical column. After that, in the square bracket, we have to give the numerical column that for which we are want to do some calculation. In this case, I will give salary. And after that, by putting one dot, I have to mention the which function I want to do. So for example, df, that is my data frame. I want to group by group by the categorical column in my case is the country. So I will choose the country. So control C and control V here. Then in the cat in the numerical data, I will give the salary. If I give salary. Control V and Control C and Control V salary and I have to give the operation. So I want to make do mean of that. So I will give the mean. If I run this, I got the group by of country like Australia, Canada, UK, and USA, and it gives the mean of the each category. So in my example, I have the many country like. USA Canada and it will take the unique name as we did in peer table when you group by the by country it will take unique value and it will take for example if it, if it take USA it will take this 55,000 
and also 70,000 and also the 72,000 and it make the mean of that and it will give the result like this for USA the mean result is 64,333 as same as Australia, Canada, UK, USA so this is how the group by function works so by using group by function you can group the data and do some calculation if I want more than one column for example this data other numerical column as the if I want to include the name as another category for the same group by so I will include it over here the name of the column that is name like name name and I will put it in a square bracket because I have more than one argument so I will put it in a square bracket so it will give the group by like country and it also take the category of name and it will calculate the salary mean so if I run this so I will get the result like this for each country it will take the members like name of the like this it will take USA and it will take Alice and David and Hank like that so here you can observe that it will take for the USA it will take Alice David Hank for the each country it will take the all the name which belongs to that country and it will, it will create the mean of the that salary so by this way we can include more than one categorical data more than one categorical column in the, within the category that is numeric uh, that categorical data and we can calculate the numerical data I mean we can use any function over here like sum we can use sum or we can also use the median mode like that like median if I want to use median I can give the median so in this example the mean is best because it calculates the average for each category so by this way we can use the group by function is used to group the data based on categorical data we can group the data and we can calculate the salary in this case we first grouped as grouped it as the country by first we have grouped it by the country then we also added one more category that is name and we calculated the the salary so this is the basic of the group by function how we can use so next let's see how we can use the pure table so pure table the syntax is first we have to use pd or else the panda dot pure table that's the name of the function the pure table and we have to, within the parenthesis we have to first give the data frame that is data and the values and index and the column and the function name so let's understand by using by the example so for the same data i will do the group by using the pure table so first i have to use the pd that is panda and i have to mention the pure table function name of the function that is pure underscore table and within parenthesis first i have to give the data frame so that is this is my data frame the name of the data frame is df here because i have created the data frame that is df so i will give the df over here and after that i have to mention the what here the values for which column i want to calculate so values is equal to in my case that is salary so salary then after values you can see here after values i have to mention about the index so the index is means it's like a row in this group by we have the index that as australia canada same way we can give the index i will give the index here as the country so i will give the index as a country so country then after index i have to give the column name so i have to mention the columns so in this example i don't have any columns if you have the any columns to show in a pure table form you have to mention the column over here and after last and i have to mention the which function i want to do which calculation i want to do so that is mentioned by egg if 
upon is equal to I want to calculate the mean so this is enough it have many other arguments like fill values that all are the default we don't need to put all the all those things we can just simply mention the data frame and values for which column you have to calculate this mean then we have to mention about the country then if you want to include any columns you can mention it over here after that we have to mention about the aggregate functions so if i run this i get some errors because let's see let's see the salary so i have to give it in a small letter so salary so if i run this so i will get the this result as we get in the same as here so for example if i get deleted from this if i run this so i get the mean like this for australia canada and for australia i have get 56500 as a mean 56500 same whatever we got in the group by function we can also get it that in the pure table function so if i if i want to add the one more column one more category to the country so i can mention it over here like by putting some one comma and mention the that is name if i want to get the name of the each and i have to get it put it in a list so i'll put it in a list so if now i run this i will get the result like this we got the result in the group by same way we can get the result in a pure table like this so so this function that pure table function take the data frame that is my data frame and it will ask for the values so my values is salary so i want to calculate the based on salary so index is the that row name the row the index is country and the name so i mentioned two categorical data that is country and the name and at last i will i give one function i want to calculate the mean so it will give the table like this for each country it will take the name name of which it belongs and it will take all the country and it will calculate the mean so if i remove that name it will give the result like this so this is how we can use the group by and the pure table in pure table we have to mention it like this like data frame the values the column name of this data frame then the index which index you want and the function in group by we directly give the categorical and the numerical and the function so this is how we can use the group by function and pure table so this is the basic about this two function you can explore more about this function by practicing it so this is all about this video so in this video we learned about the basic of group by and pure table in pandas so we learned about group by how we can define the group by function and how we can use the pure table so thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video